this is fully functional. Yes. Because when we saw it before, I don't remember this guy. Okay, so K40 now, this is a real functioning K40. Okay. Last time I think you saw it, it wasn't even functioning. It was a static display. Yeah, you know uh, what, you're screen, right. It was a screen capture. Yes, of it. It looked, yeah, yeah. It's real, let me just take a picture. So this is real functioning, so if I lift it up, this is the weight this it's gonna weight. be. Go ahead, yeah. I'm gonna try it. That's not bad at all. I'm, I'm one fingering it yeah. right there. No, there's no batteries in this, and we also have an internal battery option. Oh, with, of course. With yeah. uh, six uh, cells of a uh, standard lithium-ion battery. Oh, cool. And that'll give you three and a half hours of couch portable. Cou there you go. Yeah. That's what we all uh, want. Our, our, our I'm, massage chair. By for the me. way, the only I, thing <laughs> behind this that's powering it is a USB-C cable. Yeah. And I've got a 30-watt iPhone charger, iPad charger. Plugged in oh, down below. Yeah, sure. So they don't have to carry a big blob or anything. They, yeah, uh, that's it'll good. It'll run off 12 volts with Anderson power poles, but that maybe if you have that in your station, you it will it take both 12 volts and 5 volt USB. Um, actually, it's power delivery, so it uses a oh, 15 PD. volt setting. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, they can negotiate voltage and current. So yeah, yeah. It'll negotiate if either the 15 volt at 2 amp, or if you're a 45 watt one, it'll give you more at 15 volts, so we can charge the battery at the same time that you're using the unit. Oh, that's great. So. Um, but internal, but I also, I take like a, a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power pack USB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it three and a half hours off of one of those too. For a 10,000 amp hour? 10,000, yeah. 10, yeah 10, milliamp hour. You have to be careful. I got a 20,000 one from the same company from Anchor. Yeah. It doesn't double it because they spec right. it differently. It's, yeah. It's not like everything at five volts. That was at different voltage. Yeah. And it worked out. I got an extra hour with it. Yeah. But yeah, you don't double it. That's no, right. They should. But, but that's not bad. 10,000 milliamp hour, you can run it for three hours. Three and a half hours, yeah. That's good. I ran it to the actual exhaustion. I wanted to see when it would just turn, yeah, off, cool. turn it off the radio. That's fantastic. Um, so anyway, we're controlling my station in California here. Um, I had it up in the sideband part of the band. Either. It's all on 10 meters. Mm -hmm. Band's been open, just going crazy. Um, I, if I have two of them hooked up, you'll see both radios reflected at the same time, at the same, same guy. So if I tune this guy across the way, I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll why, you, why don't you pan to? I'll get down lower. Why don't you pan, okay, pan over go to ahead. the far iPad over here? Yeah, I okay. can get you both. They're both in there. Oh, really? Okay. And this real wide. Okay. So if I change this frequency here, yep. look at the far one. You can see it changing there. That's I do. That's round trip from California. Is it 074? I think for FT8. Uh, seven six. Seven six. Oh no, seven four. You're right. There we are. Yep. Off 10 hertz. That's pretty cool. That it may be hard for you to see, but the full round trip is. No, that, it, it's, it's not bad at all. Not bad. So, K40 has the exact same K4 front panel, mm -hmm. and also has. I'll get back in the picture a little bit here. Um, the K40 has the exact same um, front panel as the as the K4. Right. Literally, we take it off the same production line, and then on the back end, we have our own I/O card and digital processor for audio, do all the compression and other stuff that has to happen. Yeah. Uh, we use the Opus codec for uh, minimal com minimal distortion at all and compression, it doesn't bother FT8. But we do have a mode where you can go with lossless also if you, if you want. Oh, cool. So, huh. um, and then, uh, so basically a K4 Zero gives you, just like you're sitting in front of a K4, you can't tell. I, right. I sit at my kitchen table operating, working DX, I did this last weekend. Yeah. Worked the Wake Island the expedition and other stuff for two hours and just had a blast. That's cool. Yeah, so but, uh, so you sit in your network at home. I mean, that is something pretty valuable, right? If you're gonna have a remote something, and you truly want the knobs and buttons feel, having it a carbon copy of your... Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. For a lot of it's folks, that's... It's easy to have a phone or an iPad and quickly right. get on. Yeah. But this is, you could sit in front of this for hours and operate, sure. it wouldn't be any different than the, rate, the full fledged radio. Yeah, because once you take too. the time to fully learn a radio, yeah. you don't want to then flip it around to something totally yeah. different, right? And so that's, yeah, I, I like it. So the K-Story and the K-40 is real. It's not vaporware. It's actually running. Yes. Um, we've got a little bit of software to do because we just put the, the uh, Wi-Fi into it before mm -hmm. we came to the show. And my software engineer then went on vacation for a month down in Australia because he's going to see his wife's family the first time after they got married here. So. Uh, uh, I remember talking to them oh, at uh, Pacificon oh, about well, that. Yeah, well, he's, he's, yeah, he's going down there. So, um, so anyway... When he gets back, we'll be adding the dialogues for setting up the you know nice menu for Wi-Fi, hot you know hotspot, uh, login and password, or if you got the hotel problem, a captive screen that lets you do the hotel login where you give your room number. And, really? Yeah. So it's got a little browser-ish type well, control. It'll be a captive one where you can't put in your own addresses. You okay. Can follow their links. Yeah. But um, but that'll be only for this purpose, and and then. After that, you just it goes away, and you just you're logged onto their system. How does it handle like VPNs? Um, 
if you're running a VPN, it's generally- Should just be passed through? Passed through to us. Transparent, yeah. 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 Okay. Don't, we don't see that. Um, that would be, we don't, well, I shouldn't qualify that. You'd have to be going through an intermediate step, like my phone, say the phone's running a VPN. It's yeah. easy if it's off your phone. Off your phone because or Because you're controlling router, it. Yeah. This but is, if you're just on a, a Wi-Fi yeah, somewhere. Yeah, no, we're not going to implement a VPN inside the radio. Okay. That, that, that's going a little bit beyond what we were planned for right uh, yeah. now. But uh, they could. It's a Linux system sure. in here, but that would be a whole other level of work and support. And I don't want to delay to get this. Right. You never know. I won't promise it in the future. But uh, There you go. But we do want to make the Wi-Fi interface for setting this up as simple as possible. Right. So, um, I'm right now using it all with just direct IP addresses and, and login. We yep. have a specific uh, you know, secure login on the K4. Um, oh, yeah, you can yeah. put in whatever password you want. And that's uh, TLS uh, negotiated encrypted mm -hmm. password stuff, not, not in the clear. So. Yeah. So other than that, that's the remote stuff. And, and yep. beyond that, on people may ask about K4D. When that's K4D, that's, yes. We have K4, K4D. Right. I'm sorry, and they've been asking about the HD. I misspoke. Mm -hmm. K4HD. HD. Um, K4 and K4D are basically either one analog to digital converter for a direct sampling SDR or mm -hmm. two, with two complete identical receive pass with band pass filters. Okay, yeah. Um, when you go to the K4D. Um, that gets you super high performance, and you can add it if you want to have diversity reception or different optimized antennas and different bands with two receivers. Yeah. You get that, that dual path on the K4D. Next question is, what if you want to get a bit more, especially blocking <laughs> dynamic range on a radio, which is desense if you think about it, like right. a single station, too close, same band, yep. opposite band, number different bands doesn't cause a problem for anything. Right. Um, we can we increase it to even beyond what the K3 could do, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, with this, we have a board. Actually, this one's going inside. Even has crystal filters. Oh you can yeah. Switch it in, so you have a K3 front end IF. Okay. That then goes into our regular DSP processing afterwards. So this is also kind of like a drop-in. Yeah. So this this goes in. You add an additional A to D converter that comes off of these guys. Uh huh. And then the K4 HD basically gives you the ability when you need it, you can switch this in, and if some guy is like a block away on 160 with a kilowatt and right. a half, blowing you up. Yeah, that you will, can lock that will out. take care of that. Or if you're on a really unusual situation on field day where you haven't separated the antennas between your sideband data. And, and CW stations. Right. Um, this gives you that additional blocking that the K3 is famous for. Yeah. And and that, that's an advantage because otherwise it's it's protecting the analog to digital converters basically, so they don't right. get overloaded. Keeping them keeping so them getting blown up. This is real. Up. We actually have a fully operate. This is one of our circuit boards of the current ones we're testing, mm -hmm. and we have a fully operational one inside the K4 in the lab. And I've actually been getting the numbers, so I've got better. For those of you that are uh, number specific, as I mentioned, better than 140 dB of uh, 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 blocking dynamic range. Really? K4 with that. So, what was it before? Uh, most SDRs are somewhere below 130, like 128. Yeah. 129. That's yeah. where that's where the they work great. I mean, they're, sure. Even on field day, the K4 is done wonderful for most people's setup. The expeditions, because most of them set their antennas up for the two stations far apart. Mm -hmm. So, but this covers you in that situation. We have a neighbor where you can't move. Yeah. Or you're in a town where there's a lot of people like direct line of sight, really close in, running yeah. high power in the same band. That's, I mean, this goes back to why the K3 often was taken on so many D expeditions oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So this is going to yeah. be even so this more. Gives, and we set it up so you can have single button press to bring it in and out. Oh, cool. I like I like the fidelity of a direct sampling receiver. It's got that clean direct yeah. sam um, uh, direct conversion almost sound. That yeah. It, it, it like and it, it a lot less this, a fatigue factor in a contest or long operating yes. time. Yeah. So I operate that way most of the times. So this would be like a noise blanker. You kick it in when you need it. Yeah. And because crystal filters. They give you that additional filtering. We actually have special ones that can handle this overload mm -hmm. stuff. What's the what's the battery of arms like, if you will? So you're going to push a button, it's going to activate it, but you got to move it where you want it, no. or is it just it just gives you the passband? No, no, it, it, it's it's right on on top of the frequency you're on. It's literally like you turn a no, uh, an additional channel a filter on if you want to. Okay, about it okay, got it. You don't have there, you don't really need to do any tuning. It's just no, everything other no, than it's the on off. yeah okay. It's, it's it's not a tunable thing. You do have a noise blanker that's sure a K three style noise blanker, which has okay. some advantages also because that's a hardware noise blanker versus a DSP noise blanker. Yes, and that has the advantage of being able to handle stronger power line pulses, for instance, without mm -hmm. it over ranging the A to D converter. Because they're, they're nanoseconds wide, so they're so right. fast. So you don't fast. Even see the overload, but you hear a little pop, right? Yep. And th what this that'll do is blank that before it ever gets to the A to D that's converter. That's cool. So, so that's really pretty cool. So that this is real. It's going to be out. <laughs> it's real, guys. It's, it's real. <laughs> it's not vaporware. Um, and uh, 
And just like going from a K4 to a K4D is about a thousand bucks, it'll be close, yeah. close to that co upgrade cost. Cool. Here. So, that, and then of course you can upgrade a K4D to that, just yeah. like you can go from a K4 to K4D. Oh, it's just, again, it's a drop-in. Yeah, it's a drop-in, it has this board and it has a uh, additional digital analog to digital converter. Direct, oh, cool. We call them DDCs, direct mm -hmm. digital con down converters. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for okay. showing us the new stuff. And no joke, at literally every show, because I, I think I saw you four, at least four times last year. You had something new and interesting, and it's been evolving, right? Every you're like, well, catch we, us this time, next time, next time. Uh, it's been and, continuing uh, to by grow. By the way, the other good news is, uh, yeah, correct. And and ev all the good news is now is that we've actually, from a logistics standpoint, on manufacturing supply and everything, caught up with almost all of our product line. So we're, wow. either, we're either off the shelf, we're almost next day shipping in some cases. Uh, I usually quote next day to two weeks on average, because you can have cool. a, then our production cycle, like a come back from a show like this where you sell a lot of product in one yeah. setting, um, we'll ship all that and that might increase it a week for people yeah. and so on. But in general, you're not, you're not back to this during the COVID delays, waiting months or years to get something. So that's gone. That's super cool. And then that's why I'm smiling a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks again for taking the time. Okay, we appreciate thank you, it. Josh, I appreciate it.